Dassault chief Eric Trappier reportedly said at the time, as part of his media interview, that he had a concept for a significant Rafale development, a sort of super Rafale that will work alongside a medium combat drone of the loyal wingman type created using the Neuron program's technological advancements. Hi. Welcome to our channel. But before we start, subscribe to our channel and like our video. The Rafale F5, or Super Rafale, design has been around for a long time and has made news as far back as 2021. According to Frederic Parasat, vice chief of the French Air and Space Force, Dassault Aviation is scheduled to introduce an F5 standard of the present aircraft, endowed with an outstanding number of capabilities, according to the French magazine Zone Militaire. The addendum details some of the features that will be developed as part of the Rafale F5 program, such as greatly increased computational capability. Most notably, two new key capabilities are being introduced, suppression of enemy anti-aircraft defenses, SAD, on the one hand, and the development of a combat drone presented as a derivative of technological advancements from the Neuron program, a first in official French communication. According to Meta Defense, it was revealed that future versions of the Rafale would need to be equipped with the capacity to suppress opponent anti-aircraft systems, generally known as SAD. According to the source, the French decision might be influenced in part by Ukraine's air warfare in the continuing conflict, illustrating the threat that sophisticated anti-aircraft systems represent today to those seeking air dominance. According to the report, SAD capabilities will most likely be based on the development of new anti-radiation air-to-ground munitions capable of raising a radar beam to destroy anti-aircraft systems and their transmitters, as well as powerful jammers that will allow a Rafale to protect not only itself, but also other allied aircraft operating in the area, from ineffective electronic warfare systems. The most exciting aspect of the Rafale F-5 is probably having a devoted wingman. During the course of this military programming law, the Rafale F-5 standard will be developed. According to Article 2 of the amendment, it includes, in particular, the development of an accompanying drone for the Rafale as a result of the neuron demonstrator's work. There may be small remote carriers, such as for SCAF or any Yoron type drones, Trapier remarked. It's almost a combat aircraft that works with the Rafale. I'm at a loss for words. The Neuron is a military drone that was developed in the early 2000s. This UCAV, unmanned combat aircraft system, is the outcome of a collaboration between Sweden, Italy, Spain, Switzerland, and Greece. The purpose of this demonstrator drone is to validate the development of sophisticated technologies that reflect all mission systems, such as high-level flight control, stealth, the ability to fire actual air-to-ground missiles from an internal bay, integration with the C4I environment, cutting-edge industrial collaboration techniques, and so on. The faithful wingman idea is common for next-generation fighter jet programs such as the Tempest and the USNG-80, but the US is procuring 1,000 Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, drones to pair with its fifth-generation F-35 and sixth-generation fighter jets. The FCAS program's next-generation French-German-Spanish aircraft will also have a devoted wingman. Indeed, Airbus demonstrated a new modular concept for an armed heavy loyal wingman that will be utilized as part of the bigger FCAS at the International Fighter Conference 2022, IFC 2022. The employment of a faithful wingman idea with the French Super Rafale is therefore at the very least fascinating, made much more so by the fact that this is the first time the notion has been mentioned alongside Rafale in official French communication. Will the new Rafale F5 be able to match the 5th and 6th generation fighter? Write your comment below. This ends our video. Subscribe to our channel and like our video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.